Let's see, how do I want to size this puppy up? Let's do some simple transport trucks and then uh, an AAT. And then over here I got the copy-paste of the units. No one's on Dragoon, so I think I can actually work on this angle without anything being looked at, so that's good. So we, um, I did in a poll about, I want to say three or four weeks ago, I did include an option to do a Terminator, uh, op or two, but it was outvoted by other stuff. Uh, generally what you see in TSB these days is stuff that I either can, you know, make a good few ops over or just what people vote for in majority. I've kind of reconciled with the idea of, you know, I can make anything I want, but if anything's a testament uh, to TSB, one of our big motos here is you are allowed to play anything that you want. So, it's the idea. Give me one second. I gotta send this up. Come on. Wilco. Understood. Someone come. TSB, you're allowed to play anything you want, and if you're not having fun, you can leave. There's an exception to that rule where if you're leadership, you got to make sure uh, there is uh, someone that steps, you you know, trained to step up. But there are... Do we really need any more of a plan? Hold on. This is high. Your job is to just defend until the evac finishes. Over. So yeah, we're just going to shoot the boys. This is going to be a very simple op. What if I was not shooting too early though, so they don't just all pile up out of our sight? Well, yeah, if they brought out a bunch of extra point, stuff. Look at all those extra shield up. generators and PLX there. missiles. That's great. I'm going to quickly tab out and drop that thing. I always forget to unhide it from my kit. So yeah, this is just an easy send things up and work with it as Pointing need be, orders. so. Pointing orders. You guys have any specific questions on anything? Moto, motto, I know. You guys know, I can't say potato or potato for Sending shit, so. Just work with me, baby. Almost halfway to a year. Tom and Jerry, almost halfway to a year indeed. Thanks for the five-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a kick out of this operation, man. That's fair, Barb, that's fair. But you make some excellent stuff, and I am thankful for that. Just remember, if you ever want to go solo, feel free. Just, um, all I'm going to ask is you don't let it go to your head like I did or my previous editor did, from what I've seen. But nonetheless, I still hope you do well. I don't know. Being a YouTuber or Twitch streamer... And I can attest to this because it did happen to me. It is very easy to let it all go to your head. And in my opinion, you just got to be careful about everything.
Because trust me, it will go to your head. So those uh, multiple missile launches you're hearing are PLXs, which is a really awesome three-shot AT launcher that the 212 has. Otherwise, these guys are doing well to keep alive and whatnot. Yeah, and as it's good to hear you're getting the coding, man. Understood. On the way. On the way. Roger. Solid copy. Now we're gonna start sending some nasty things their way. I just have to find them. Uh, not heavily armored. Is it heavily? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, no, that's just a dwarf. Gosh darn it. Almost up. All set up. And then wherever they go, they go. But I know there's a movable spider droid, I just can't seem to find it. And these guys, I guess, are running up to do a counterattack here. I will find this thing. Standing by. Yep, all right, I wanted the turret to come in with him. Roger. I just need to make sure that this is G'd so it doesn't shoot at the pilots in there. It's under turrets, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's under turrets. Hey, other squads, how are you guys doing? Yeah, this is Sarlacc, we're good. <laughs> cool, if there's a droid um, gunship up there, if somebody wants to boot that. Jesus! This is high, I want to chime in. That, that double missile shot on that uh, gunship was sexy. You're welcome, hi. <laughs> like, that was... You heard two different clicks at the same time, like, that's... I know for a fact they didn't coordinate that, but that was sexy to listen to and watch. Hot damn. On the way! On the way! On the way! Solid copy! So another seven minutes, I'm going to start garrisoning over the next AO. Copy that. On the way. <laughs> Double teaming, yeah, right? But yeah, it's also kind of fun to do these types of ops because it's just very relaxed compared to, you know, some Zeusin where I have to stress on every little detail. This is just meant to have a bit of fun, low stakes, 
And I would recommend any Zeus that, you know, does a lot of stuff has an op like this at least once a week. Because it's a nice refresher. Now, I just have to remember where the we AATs are. Coming in from the south. Say again, sorry? Because if I can find where those silly uh, AATs are, because I know they're not our IFE, then I can send some fun stuff in. You didn't transmit that. Go again. <sighs> Under tanks. Yeah, that would make sense, right? Standing by. Trump. I know they have a lot of uh, AT, so. Can't even see those rocket trails come in. What war is best for Zeusing? There's no one war that's good. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, with a lot of different types of war. You can make up your own wars, too. And just do OC. Uh, but I wouldn't say there's any one war that's really good. Uh, the HTMLs are all on, uh, Discord. Oh yeah, I forgot to change out, but they made it so their SLs have the frickin' CO Bojack rifle, which is weird. Charlie, this is Bravo. Charlie, this is Bravo. Alright, Charlie, be advised to the east we have B1s coming over the hill, so watch your back. Any ARC troopers on this net? This is high. Be advised. Evac is going well. Break. Maintain your defensive positions. We estimate the evac will be done in another 20 to 30 minutes. Over. Copy that, hi. So let them uh, deal with the infantry that are coming up. We still got these two things coming in. Alpha, be advised you have the two spider droids coming up on your position. Uh, we haven't been able to get AT on them. Ooh! Rog just came, I think it hit the trench though. Alpha Bravo, you guys on net on that? Alpha Charlie, sorry. Cool, could you reply once in a while? That'd be great. Yeah, I think they're working on another guy in their group. Another dwarf just went down. I delete them because the uh, Rex, they um, they don't always show a Rex uh, texture for them. We got those spiders coming up. How does that well, what rifle effect? You have to be a little more specific. So it sounds like some people are stepping up on short range. I mean, because they got to climb that ladder, I'm going to make sure there's nothing there that can kill them and surprise and whatnot. That one to the droid commander is what? You mean their rifle? 
I mean, because the, the Bojack, it's just one of the different rifles that are in that shoots the little red, uh, green lasers instead of red. I don't know. The 501st has always been a bit of a mystery to me because they'll want to make some things very, very specific. Like, you know, very lore-friendly, and then they'll give, you know, droid commanders and squads, uh, frickin' guns from, like, post-Rebellion uh, Empire, you know? It just, it confuses me, but nonetheless, I can just change the rifle out, because why not? Alright, so that's the main beat. Uh, B1 dispersions there. There's undead. Gonna unhide that arsenal for him so he can grab his kit back. Let's see if he notices. Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Ooh, I smell steak cooking downstairs. Come on, undead. Should take him less than 10 seconds. Alright, so how should we send them off? I'm thinking another wave of B1s all around. But now I'm just literally trying to buy time to stall. Uh, I could add a small mod to make the B1s actually say Roger Roger and stuff. There's been a lot of mods coming out recently that do voice changes. Like, there's one for Space Marines. Uh, there's one for the Combine units uh, from Half-Life. Uh, Half I said Half-Track, Jesus. Still got IFA on the mind, I guess. There's uh, a lot of stuff that can be used. So I assume undead is done. Charlie, with how are you guys doing? Copy that. So I'm gonna start making this Copy place here. Here. So one squad's apparently running low on ammo. You know, actually, I can just do the boats. Uh, I'll do a mix of both, actually. Charlie, be advised you have more droids to the east. They're flanking around us. You may Waiting be in orders. trouble. Send in goat teams. Waiting orders. Target. Standing by. Beach a few. And Degs, thanks for the 13-month resub. How's your first month in the Lance Corporal Club, my guy? I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you're getting a kick out of this operation. I mean, one thing I really like about uh, Star Wars stuff, though, is just the incessant tracer fire you get. Stuff going back and forth. You just uh, heard uh, the sound of the Co. Uh, CO Bojane rifle, whatever the heck it's called. It's on that guy, and you can see the green tracers it adds on. I still got another 15 minutes, give or take. Skelly is down up there. They're going to have to go down and grab him. Iopus is getting engaged. Almost bandaged in the open. He knows he was taking fire. This group down here. Getting hit. I'm not sure. I think Skelly... Nope, he woke back up. He's moving down. 
And we got these two guys right here. So I'm thinking let's uh, give a little bit of pressure, but not too much pressure. Let's do a dark wave of these guys. It's just a little texture change. Nothing too, too crazy here. I'm thinking we'll do a mix of some B1s because we can claim they just ran up and dismount and then I'll also throw down some B2s here with it. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. B2s are nice because uh, for swap they follow the Star Wars Republic um, commando version of B2s in which they're tanky little bastards. That can dish out a lot of punishment. So now I'm going to quickly take us back to right here. And then we're also going to, uh, set up some extra stuff. Sorry, my cat is now running around in my room. Uh, well, not my room, my office. Bramble, honey. Come on, don't jump around. I can't afford you to knock over one of my monitors again, sweetie. Those are expensive. Say again? Please don't knock open the monitor. Hey, firm transport vehicle. Now I'm just adding to the garrison because I want to use uh, this area. So Fudge DC, he might have died because I saw he was down earlier. Hope is getting a uh, PLX shot on that. Yeah, <laughs> how you doing, Hungarian? Nah, I know you're a pilot now, but you can't you can't shoot at the art. Well, no, the five hundred first ones you can. Mine, you can. Kitty always demands attention. Bramble. I have found a way to engage these vehicles when they're, you know, further along the road, so you don't have to deal with them all on your own. We'd like to assist you. Be advised, they are only six, and we do have AT. It's not like we're not going to use AT. I yeah, delete those guys. Rocket just came in and blew these guys to smithereens. That was the AI too. Let's see if Hadev notices. Skelly's jetpacking over to go check out what's on. I mean, these guys on an open side of the hill. I'm not surprised that just happened. Holy crap. Heard another rocket go in. That takes out that Vic. So, let's see. We have Skelly trying to pop smokes on this open hill. I hope this is now coming up. They are. They do have a mask has at this point. Yeah, they could grab him, but it looks like he jumped the wrong way. I do love that about the jetpacks. You can grab someone actually jetpack them away. It's great. I hope it's popping a squad shield to work on Malin. That is smart. Oh, my cat's basking in the sunlight <laughs> on the window. Yeah, we are. It's 
Uh, no, we do have an MTT. I got them over here, and they can work and drive. I just, uh, I'm using that as, like, my staging point for the convoy in case they look over and see it. So you got one person trying to medic uh, a different person up. You got Hadev now working on Dog right here. He's going to pull him back because that squad shield is about to run out. Unfortunately, Nightmare... Bramble! Bramble, stop playing with boxes. Honey, I know. No, please. Don't destroy stuff again. Ah! Any ARC troopers on that? This is high. Do you copy over? Oh, for go through. Roger, I am retasking you with a new objective break. You are to divert to grid ref 148107 break. 148107. It should be to your west. There is a Republic base that was taking high value objects out of the hey, uh, planet. Alpha, You are to find two holocrons. I say again, two holocrons. One that is a box and one that is a triangle. And when you have them, call for extract. Over. I'm going to send some more armor in a bit. I cut it a bit short because one squad got mass cast by a rocket. But I haven't seen, uh... I haven't seen uh, any droids use rockets in a while to kill infantry. It is one life, yeah. But with one squad down, I mean, most of that flank is pretty much dead, but... You know, you gotta be... That is a pretty bitter reminder of uh, spacing, you know? Ah, but I got uh, that area over there mostly garrisoned up. Then as the op continues, I'll be sending more B1s in uh, that direction. Skelly's jumping up, I guess, to draw fire. Just look at all the tracers that come down. Alpha's pushing northwest. Alpha's leaving their ditching. Okay. That's kind of awkward that they're not going to go with their entire force, but I can't stop them if they're not communicating. Roger that. Roger. Every squad leader go, go. spawns with an LR on, the on their jetpack, so if they're not going to communicate, then there's nothing much I can do. We have these two guys. It's also kind of impossible for me to tell which one of them has the uh, LR. If they're LR capable. Malin looks like they stabilized. Iopis doing a, um... I think he's doing epinephrine. That was CPR right there. Skelly is now trying to basically draw fire here. I mean, I'm gonna send another AAT wave in a few minutes. Bramble! Don't sneeze on the soda. Oh, sweetie. Be right back. Primal stop being a dumbass. I mean, that's a, that's the more mean way to put it, but yeah. Demon, thanks for the 29-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, my friend, and I hope you're staying safe from uncovered 19. Otherwise, a lot of tracer fire coming up. Yeah, because one squad has literally ditched another squad.
And they're just hopping over these B1s. And they're pushing them. Meanwhile, this group is kind of SOL here. Because they've pretty much gotten ditched. It's like, uh, Big Dog here, he gets taken out. Skelly, he's still up. Him and Malin are, you know, two of the more veteran players here. But they're just kind of getting caught in a really rough place. I hope it's down back here. They're heading north. Which is an uh, interesting call. Alpha to Bravo and Charlie, how you guys doing? We're doing... Wait one. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. That was on Railbert there. These guys just trying to pull the line. I think Railbert's now bandaging. Poor big mess. He uh he got healed, but then brought down again. I hope this looks like he woke back up. Skelly, they're all bandaging right now because their entire right flank basically collapsed to get this objective done. So I was going to have these B1s kind of chase them through, but what's ended up happening is half the group is still holding them as the other half is now going in. But the assault will continue, and we're going to get some... I'm going to send mediums up because mediums aren't anti-infantry. They're more anti-vehicle. Uh, light AATs would literally shred the um, infantry up, and I don't want to kill them outright. But we are going to pretty much cut them off at this point. See, if I could, the uh, toggle unconscious doesn't work anymore. Unless uh, Achilles updated to fix that, yeah, so I can't wake him up. Which is a shame. No, Ice, I actually don't like it when you all get killed. I've never liked it, and I'm kind of tired of you people saying I would, so... Whatever. It's annoying to read all the YouTube comments, people saying I'm a sadistic Zeus, and I'm like, I just, I just make missions, man. If I wanted you all dead, there would be plenty of ways for me to do that, but Zeus is a tool. And if one major Zeus starts abusing it, then everyone loses. That's one of their auto rifles firing off. Another thing about these low poly textures is they make some of these guys blue, which blue is normally meant for a pilot. So I might, uh, when I get back into Star Wars after a few weeks of op tray, I might go out and change that. Otherwise, these guys are flanking around with some B1s coming around their line. These two are getting pinned down. Blobby gets shot to death. Big is dead, and Railbert also goes down. These three are still pulling out. I'm going to send another group of B1s up. On the way! Roger! On the way! Roger! Yeah, big. That was um, that was the AI that did that up there. Uh, that shot that AT stick. I definitely watched it knock everyone. Meanwhile, this group—it looks like they were also spaced together and got hit by AT. I just heard another rocket go in. I heard a distant launch. I'm just not hearing a click sound.
Yeah, so this group, they're working on two people here. They put the squad shield down next to them. And then, yeah, the, nope, uh, Railbert woke up. I think he's trying to get Blobby back up. And while these guys are now dealing with the uh, B1 offensive here. Yeah, that rocket down three of you. There was another rocket. Uh, looks like it happened in this fight that down two of them. But I don't mean to sound rude, but being on that open hill right there, you didn't really have any cover. You were open side to any everything in the AO. Realistically, yeah, that rocket should have... Uh, that rocket was definitely a possibility. Again, I, when I gave you uh, these labeled positions, I was trying to, you know, have you with the ambush. But the idea of, you know, you guys covering this vector was, Alpha, how are you guys if you doing? got stuff over here, these guys could cover We're the top of you. Three quarters of the way to the fob. The well, yeah, this was meant to be a blind spot. Copy that that. would Bob happen towards the end. Being a very useful distraction force at the moment. Uh, we're going along the main road to get you there. Copy that. We appreciate it. <laughs> Completely unintentional. We're just trying to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'd probably advise, make your way over to where we are, we're clearing the route as we go. Be advised, if we were to do that, we would go into the full force of the droids, and I'm not doing that. On the way! On the way! Alright, so I'm also gonna... I was thinking, uh, spider droids, but they're also AA, and they would definitely shoot down the lat as it came in. Oh, you guys are fucked, Charlie. I thought you died a while ago. So he patched up Blobby the best he could. Just heard another rocket launch here. Unsure where that was going on the boat. All right. Railbird still doing his best to patch Blobby up. Gotta admit, these guys are committed to trying to keep everyone alive. Malin's still bandaging up a bit. He's still had a small wound yes, of some sort. Can. You have Undead getting his PLX out. He's taking a shot. Looks like on that bow. And that was a miss because it hit the stuff over here. Meanwhile, this light AAT is shooting upwards at these guys. Another rocket going out. That one should be able to make the hit. I think he locked onto it. And the boat just politely slows down to get hit by it. <laughs> Otherwise, light AAT... Well, that's why you don't shoot rockets in shielded areas. <laughs> Shield goes up, rocket goes out, and I think everyone in there is okay, but that was, uh, that was a bit of an ouch. Railbert doing his best to stay alive at this point. I'm gonna have one of these AATs swing around. You're hearing more rockets, explosions, I'm not sure what they're going for here. Anyway, boats are really easy to delete because, you know, once they sink, they're sunk, and then you can delete the swimmers. And that AAT is no more. I feel bad for Charlie Remnant right here. Railbert now patching himself up as he is pretty much surrounded by whatever the heck is still here. But I'm going to start deleting a lot of the uh, battle right here. Just to kind of save up on some frames. And as you... Not sure if you could tell, but I could certainly tell that there was uh, some decent frame usage that was freed out. So Mac Marine, he's got a shielded AT launcher here. The AT stick actually sticks through, so the missile won't get hit by the AT. Spider droids destroyed, so I'll go ahead and delete that A. T is also down. Uh, for the advice, due to copious amounts of our use of our jetpack, we're currently to your north. Copy that. Jetpack. We'll be moving as a flanking force. Of and it looks like Railbert went down, which is unfortunate. I'm going to have these B1s come up and basically tap them if they wake up again. 
And at this point, I should be good. But Charlie gave their lives to hold the rest of the B1s coming up. Copy that. Hey, Fern, we're gonna set off on a hill and start shooting stuff. VCOM does have a feature where they... I mean, at least I remember them having a feature where if you gave HE rockets to AI, they would use them against infantry. I don't know what happened to it, though. But I remember that being a thing. The reason you have um, units in the uh, in this mod pack use AT against infantry is something that one of the, I believe, the 501st R&D mod adds. Otherwise, you got these guys getting on a hill here. They're going to start engaging. I'm just going to start uh, putting my intel down already. Uh, pick up... Sip. Hi, this is Bravo. This is Hi, Sun Message, Bravo. Uh, copy. Just double checking. Um, are, do we still have clones in this base, or is it. Uh, negative. I haven't heard a peep from it, so I'm assuming it's garrisoned by hostile forces at this time. Over. Lovely. Pick up. <laughs> Excellent. Put a W in there. So when you do this, you got to make sure you set this to true. And I'm going to be nice and say that uh, it pops up on side chat when they get it. I always like the holocrons because they're so easy to make objectives out of. Probably spelled acquired wrong, but whatever. Make them float a little bit. Send in go team six now. We'll see Pilyopchan underscore square. Oh damn, I think they got rocketed again. Mess dog flattened Opchan. Opchan is not flat. We have literally made a, a freaking quote command to signify that she is not flat. I'm trying to push Bloodwing to do a cosplay of Opchan, just to just to prove a point here. <laughs> Otherwise, at this point, we're actually down to ten Arc Troopers here. Uh, we started with about six, twelve, about fourteen. Yeah, no, those guys are definitely toast. And that medium tank, I can go ahead and delete. They're working on Skelly. I heard another rocket launch here, and that was uh, against these guys. Looks like Mac Marine went down. Dr. Boom is also down. Yeah, the whole point of having those jetpacks is so they, uh, so they can stay uh, mobile. Once they're not mobile, it's uh, very messy. Oh, Alpha's pretty much wiped here. Uh, same. Well, we're kind of recovering from Maskaz, so good luck. Shouldn't have jumped into so many B1s. We got hit by AT. They're pointing down another squad shield here. If this is gonna come down to the wire at this point, the only uh, tank in here is this uh, Almost medium AT. WDF. Doesn't feel that long, Kipo. There's going to definitely be a casualty or two up in Alpha, maybe more, but depends on what medical back and black has. Mm, it could be messy. Yeah, wolves. I need. I haven't even started working on the next batch of emotes yet. I gotta. I gotta get on that soon. <laughs> Thanks for the three, oh, 35 month. We're not up to three years yet. Thanks for the 35 month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the ops, my friend. And I hope you're getting a kick out of this operation. Yeah, now I'm waking up. Whew. Yeah, so the heavy uh, AAT looks like Dr. Boom and Alex are down. 
They're dead dead, though. Uh, the heavy one is called the King AAT, and they're usually a bit more colorful. Basically, light AAT can take one missile, the medium two, and then the King three. But if you uh, hit any AAT in the weak spot, which is under the turret back here, it causes them to go catastrophic. So these four are up. They need to continue to use their mobility, because otherwise these B1s right, are coming up. This is high. Send message. Be advised, it's likely we won't be able to complete the objective. Uh, do you want us to do anything else? Negative. Command wants you to either get the objective done or die trying. Over. Copy that. Be advised, we will probably die. Trying to think how I want to respond to that. Back in black, still doing his best to try to get Karn up. Malin, if I told you I believed in you, would that mean you get the objective done? Negative. If anything, that makes me more likely to fail. Then I believe in you times ten. So now we're going to fail 10 times harder. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, come on back in black. At least get Karn up. Maybe 3,000 times it worked in Endgame. Yeah, right? Tell him he's a shitty pilot. <laughs> I think they're going to be sharing ammo at this point, but... Four guys. Malin, if it helps, the last message that went out was that they were trying to move the holocrons up to two lats and keep them in two separate lats to get them off planet before we lost contact. Over. Copy that. Because technically they could just jump up here and circumnavigate the base. But they are also technically on a timer because... Everything's eventually going to come up here. Copy that. Keep doing your thing. Uh, Bravo's gonna try and be sneaky boys and sneak into the base. So they got Karn up, so they're down to six now. Whew! So I'm not sure if these guys are going to try to stem the tide or if they're going to join on the attack. Just the sheer amount of B1s out here. I'm going to go ahead and shove these guys back into the lat. If those two guys stay there, they're going to die because of the sheer amount of B1s we have right here. So that is this droidica firing at them when they jump. Shot from behind. They gotta use those jetpacks to advance quicker. Alpha this is Bravo. Be advised, if you guys stay stealthy, we can be a distraction force and you can get at those lats and fly them away before they know what him. Them lats are dead, my guy. Lovely. Alright, try and get your elf yourself to the lat. We'll try and do the same thing. I hope you good. Run that. Back in black, unfortunately, went down as he advanced. Just a sheer amount of B1s behind him. 
Karn doing his best to get up to the base, but I don't think he knows that this isn't cleared, so as soon as he exposes his back... the sheer amount of fire he's just backing himself up he's got to be careful though because i do have a b2 right here that will uh that will shoot him oh no be careful man How many shields did he bring? Are the guys back there? So Railbert was one of the two back here. Blobby's still up though. <laughs> Skelly just got crippled when he jumped right there. You gotta know when to jump and when not to jump. Alpha, you interior on base. Hold on, he's firing. Oh, I that. see your sorry ass. All right, I'm gonna pull him out of there. If he's able to shoot through that, then. Skelly's grab the droidica. <laughs> he gets shot while he tries to grab it. Because it is technically classified as a turret. Now I managed to jump, double jump up here. He's getting stuck on the lat rack because he doesn't want to go around. We got the Sith one. They might actually make it out of here with the skin of their teeth. <laughs> Skelly woke back up. He grabbed the dreaded and he threw it in the freaking ocean. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> that's that's one way to do it. Okay, because you could you can technically go up, pick them up and it turns them into an empty turret until you release it and their AI gets put back. So that's that is a funny way of doing things. Copy that. There's one boat by the end. If you can get at it, we're leaving because we have the objective. This is actually a cool shot, having that boat right under the uh, wreck. And it does cast a shadow. Send the uh, lat their way.
It wouldn't be an ARC Trooper operation if they didn't win against high odds. I agree. High odds, high casualties. It worked out. Yeah, no, I know, Blobby, he's still alive, too. He's just surrounded by the ones. I feel that, Railbird. I feel that. Uh, hi, where would you like us to go? We have the holocrons. This is hi, I've been tracking. Lat's coming in to pick you up from the boats. Be advised, we will index when the lat makes it to your position. Copy that. Alright, just keep going in the general direction, the lat will come and pick us up, and then we'll index when the lat gets to us. Run that. Also, is that a hunt IR tied to a grab shoot? That's amazing. Do not question. The grab shoot. <laughs> we needed some extra oomph, so we gave it some of that extra oomph, you know? I, I think it works out really well. actually shooting some of the B1s that came around. So a hunt tire, it's basically a camera on a parachute, and then for some reason there's a grab shoot tied to it. Khan, you have it, big boogaloo. Whew. <laughs> you left me, Railbud. You left me. So, <laughs> even worse, I, I bandaged you up, and I wanted to get you up and jump with you, carrying you, but then I got down myself, and then I, yeah, I am dead, and you're lying there stabilizing. It was tragic. Yeah, I lied there for 20 minutes, Dave. <laughs> so that could have gone better, but that definitely could have gone worse. Uh, what really put the nail in the coffin for you guys was uh, not calling for assistance when you get mass cast, and one squad saying, after I switched your objective, uh, they went, okay, we're going to go, and then they didn't check on anybody, and they just left. Uh, the collapse of the left flank allowed for more B1s to get on the right flank's position, and then an AT round blew them up. Uh, by the way, those AT rounds, that's the AI, not me. They're, uh, they're nasty. So, uh, it, everything just kind of got whittled down because we went from one force working together to make a kill zone to, uh, three separate forces, each having, a a different story, but... I think five of you got out in the end with the objective, and I mean, it wouldn't be, uh, as someone put in my chat, it wouldn't be an ARC Trooper op without success and odds of, uh, high odds themselves, so hope you had fun, and, uh, I'm gonna do a few Halo things playing with the new op tray mod set for the next two or three weeks and switch it back to Star Wars. So, uh, we're gonna go down the list here, uh, for any feedback. So, Undead, go. Ah, uh, that was fun. It's a small thing, so it's great. It's fast-paced, so... Alex. Um, it seems the uh, RC aimed AT shots or whatnot ruffled some people's feathers just due to it being a one life op. Um, we were able to get back, well, the first time, I guess. The second time, I think it was like a tank or whatever got us, and we just we had too many down. So, again, um, to state it, yeah. I, I did not RC anything. That was all purely the AI. Okay. Um, I wasn't lead, but I thought I heard that the assignment. To the dock was for alpha only. I don't know if maybe the lead also heard it that way, and that's maybe why it was just us pushing along there initially. We thought that See, uh, I thought the other uh, classic blame the Zeus for everything, even though I didn't do that. Uh, keeping the advancement back. Um, <laughs> maybe I wasn't the only one that heard that. I'm not sure. When I gave the call, I thought I said all forces. So okay, I might have misheard then. Because I also remember saying I'm switching your objective. Or I said, like, cancel the last objective. I said something that basically I was trying to say, you don't have to defend that spot anymore. Please go do this, because this is more important. Mm. You were Alpha SL, right, Undead? Yeah. It was the fact that Madam was down, I believe, at the time when the order actually came through. So I'm not sure what happened with Bravo in that, in that case. But I said as we were leaving, Alpha's pushing towards the compound. We're leaving 80 like, into west. three of us. Yeah. Um, that's all for me. Back in black. Safe Karen. Died horribly. Had fun. <laughs> Next. Skelly. 
three shot shit, blue shit, up. nothing else. No, through the through a droid here in the water. I saw that. That was funny. Just picked it up and chucked it. I opus. He's so paralyzed with happiness, he has nothing to say. Malin. Well, generally, so Alpha. After you guys unceremoniously just left us there to die, <laughs> uh, we had three people down in Bravo. Charlie was taking the full brunt of the force while the other two members were getting us up. So essentially, uh, because and because your guys' flank collapsed, it basically meant we were on a hillside with another hillside with a bunch of B1s on it shooting at us. So essentially, we just said, fuck Charlie, we're leaving. And we went over the hill and did a lot of jumping to come up to you guys, only for you guys to all go and get yourself mass cast, which was always fun. But we did manage to make it, so, you know, win some, lose some. Dr. Boom. Once again, Glad Trenches are amazing. Had of. Uh, it was fun. Uh, only complaint is that I felt I got knocked out a little bit too easily. That was the only thing, really. Because when I woke up, I like had a light okay. injury. Yeah. That was the only thing. I mean, that's just the medic system. Yeah. And RNG at that point. Karn. Uh, I had lots of fun. Um, pretty much got absolutely wrecked by the tank, which killed four out of six, knocked me down. Black was only one left. He medic me up. Um, he died on the way that. to the far because I guess he ran out of. Uh, personal shields, but I, I never fucking play swap without like ten personal shields anymore. <laughs> um, only got hit once, and all all like running on the beach, met up with Bravo, uh, and Exfold. Lots of fun. Nightmare. A lot of fun. Uh, I hundred percent deserved that. The being the first death because I got hit by that first AT shot on the hill, from Bravo. But it was fun. I I enjoyed it. Or Daka. Blobby. What happened to Fudge? <laughs> Zero. I don't know. Uh, he just disconnected. Like... No, I picked him up and he disappeared. Oh, then I I, I don't know. He might have teleported because that that does happen when you pick people up and drag and stuff. Once in a blue moon, they'll like glitch out to a corner of the map and not be brought back. So if that happens in the future, just say something on side chat. Uh, we yeah, actually called yeah, up too he... high over long range, but I think it didn't go through. Yeah, no, you you uh you side chat for that because I didn't hear it. Okay, oh yeah, when we two man Charlie squad, uh, would do it again. Cack. Mac Marine. Uh, got a lot of shit. Got down a bird and then uh, watched the tank shall nice. go through my face. <laughs> Sounds about right, Railbert. Right, it's first time squad leading, but I was more of a discount RTO, so uh, yeah, three man squad, then two, and then they got the, they got the high ground on us, and the rest is history. Hmm. Lamau. <laughs> anyway, hope you had fun. Uh, again, these are meant to be short little tier, like stuff I would give some tier three ops. It's just with, uh, you know, a Star Wars or sci fi spin. I'm going to keep this slot for just sci fi stuff because it's fun. It is. Anyway, I'll be RB one sec. All right, guys, that is uh, that's not gonna be it for me today. I'll either be playing a five oh sixth op or Granite's um, Vietnam op tonight. I don't know which yet. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers and uh, hiccup there. I'll see you later. <laughs>